20th of December 2019 was an awful day. We all knew it was going to be an awful day because of the forecast and the warnings the day before. The fire entered our property and with a matter of minutes had effectively burnt out the entire vineyard. We had one section that was what we call a full burn and the rest was what we'd call a lighter burn. Everything had to be removed though, so all drippers, all irrigation and most of the infrastructure was completely taken out and replaced. We were enormously affected by the, the Cuddy Creek fire in 2019. We basically went back to ground zero. There was nothing uh, that we could do with that season. Because it was such a dry spring leading into it and we used a lot of drip irrigation, uh, the mid rows between our crops was dry. So we had fire incur into our, our orchards and pretty much raise them. We've got four farming properties. Three of them were burnt completely from one side to the other. Our family dairy farm, which is uh, about 120 hectares, there was only about 16 of that that wasn't burnt. Being a livestock property, we rely on fencing to keep the animals uh, maintained. We lost in the order of five kilometres of fencing. We lost a lot of paddock trees. Um, the big gums that are majestic in this country that provide shelter. But the principal issue was just burnt paddocks and burnt fences. There was an emergency grant from the government that we applied for, uh, $75,000, and we put that to use to mainly get our water back to the vines as soon as possible. Well, the funding was really for the cleanup of the existing orchards that we had to remedy, and also for um, replacing what was lost. It was the trees, it was the irrigation, it was the trellis structure within the orchards. Having access to that PERSA funding, within three weeks we had the complete irrigation system completely replaced and brought up to speed again. So it was that turnaround time and actually making that as fast as we could. It was enormous relief that you had a sort of a, a safety spring really that we could depend on that to get the property back into full production again. In terms of the most significant help, that was the PERSA grant. On a small farm like ours, to receive $75,000 is a massive injection of funds. And uh, that went principally into engaging a contractor to fix the fences and buy the materials. So there was an initial funding that came through PERSA that um, was really essential in just getting some of the infrastructure back in place. The funding has enabled us to get the vines back into a vigorous state and into a fruiting state. We've invested uh, from new vines, rejuvenating old vines, replacing the irrigation system. So now basically we are set and ready to go again for the next 20 years. It was essential. You know, we wouldn't have been able to do a lot of the things that we we did without that funding. It really gave us an opportunity to uh, reinvest in our orchards. It was life-changing because it would have taken me years of chipping away at fencing myself, whereas that grant enabled it to be restored quickly and in a high quality way. So really, really just grateful for that financial support in a time when, certainly in my life, it's, it's never been more needed. Having that PERSA resources come through meant we could keep that work going. And I'd say if that funding wasn't there, that work definitely would have been either put on hold or stopped because of obviously the other aspects that we were dealing with in that certain time. The uncertainty and the financial stress is huge. You know, like you just don't know how you're going to fund and rebuild. And having that little bit of confidence that there is some funding there that you can access and that, you know, you can continue is, you know, vital. It meant the difference in us just going, well, are we able to do this? Is it gonna take another 10 years? Cause you know, it, it takes a long time. Like even, what are we, three or four years into it now and we still are probably probably 60% of the way through. Having that support meant that we could chart our way through. We got through it, and thanks to Persia and the, that allocation of money made it so much easier. We could get it back in production a lot quicker. The level of support we had from the department and from the broader community was amazing. I don't know of anyone that could really say that they didn't feel supported or didn't feel as though that their lot had been recognised. It's been fantastic, that level of support.